So NAB 2017 has come and gone, and these are some of my highlights and the things I learned while I was there. So one of the cool things to see while I was there was these companies that I have followed for years and continue to follow and to see them kind of evolve. And one of them was Freefly. They uh, introduced their new Movi XL, which is definitely for bigger um, payloaded camera systems. And so they showed it, you know, with Alexa's and the uh, new Panavision Super 35 camera with just monster lens on these. Another product that I was excited about was the Lacie Too Big Dock Thunderbolt. And so what it was initially is, you know, a, a two bay uh, six terabyte drives and you can do a RAID 0, RAID 1. You can, you can configure the RAID any way you like, but then beneath it, it has a CFast and a SD card and a USB port. Stop by the Matthews booth, as you know, I love their Infinity Arm, and I've always uh, kind of tended to, you know, drift towards Matthews grip equipment. They were showing off the Duty Dolly, and they launched this last year, and it's something that, um, me personally, I think it kind of fits on where I'm at in my career, and you know where sometimes just a, a slider, you know, might not be big and stable enough and so this is kind of that in between another booth that i stopped by was schneider optics and meeting with uh, don and nikki from schneider was absolutely a pleasure because they were teaching me about all their new lenses and and uh their new filters and that was the thing that actually really got me excited was seeing all their cool new filters they came out with a full new ND line of filters that has zero color shift and it has a full spectrum of IR pollution so you just get the cleanest uh, image you know coming out of the sensor while still putting some ND in front of it. Stopped by the Atomos booth and they had some awesome news. They showed off their new Sumo 19 inch display and recorder and this is just something that no one's ever even thought of. The picture quality looked amazing. All Atomos' uh, displays look great so this is something I really hope I can get my hands on made my way over to the Miller booth. They had this insane fluid head set up. Um, it was the Skyline 90. This thing is, you know, 100% for the broadcast sports market. And just, but the, the reason why I just mention it is it just looked amazing. You can see it's just an engineering masterpiece. So they also had a whole new line of bags for all of their tripods in the in the market that I personally use so their aero compass and airline and this was actually a really really good new product for me um, you know just nicer bags nicer build tougher um, more organization and uh, a little more flair to the bag made my way over to the quasar science booth as you guys know that's kind of one of my new lighting favorite companies i've been using them for the last year or so and i just absolutely love their lights so they had some really cool products to show but the main highlight was these new 2x2 and 2x4 panels and these aren't your normal panels they don't have strips of leds in front of the diffusion um, they're around the sides and they just throw out this beautiful soft light besides all the awesome gear and the amazing seminars and tutorials the main reason I feel we go to NAB is to meet the people meet the people that we look up to and learn from online or in this case you get to meet them in person and so this year was probably the best year in the ways of me meeting some of these people that I look up to you know meeting uh, Strons and David go check out their YouTube channel um, they have amazing tutorials amazing reviews um, Max with Max photos meeting him and, and his stuff with uh, Panasonic and Sony right now is just going crazy about autofocus and Matt Workman with Cinematography Database and you know learning from him and where he wants to go with his cinematography and his business. Um, Dave Dugdell, uh, you know Emmanuel 
Pampari. Uh, hopefully I said his last name right, but, um, you know, meeting Tom Antos. I fought, I mean, these are guys that I have followed for years and um, photos, Joseph photos. Uh, I mean, you know, I got to meet the infamous Locke with, uh, d you know, formerly with Digital Rev. And these are people that, you know, I got to brush shoulders with and meet and chat with and, and spend some time with them, learning from them on where the film industry is going and the changes and the things I need to make. Um, one of the things that I got to do is spend some time with uh, Adamus and spend some time with uh, Jeremy, Tony, and In and Dan Chung with Adamus and learning what they want from filmmakers and learning, uh, you know, the challenges that they um, are dealing with when they develop products is also it was really cool to hear from them because those are the same things that I'm having to deal with too. I got to spend some time with uh, Shane and his uh, beautiful wife Lydia Hurlbut and and you know and, and their team and it was so cool and so nice and to meet them and to brush shoulders with them and to talk about you know what what they are doing what they're doing and what uh, you know things I could be doing better in my cinematography uh, spending some time with uh, Nate and Eric at Kessler Crane uh, was a blast because to hear what um, Eric Kessler to hear what his goals were for Kessler he, he literally said our goal at Kessler is to make people smile and enjoy their jobs and I was like that is just awesome and so um, Tyler Phillips at Matthews spent good good chunk of time with him. So overall, you know, you go to NAB and you do get all of these hands-on experience with products and you get a lot of seminars. I mean, it's just thousands and thousands of dollars of seminars for free um, if you buy the exhibit tickets. And so I spent hours at the seminars. But besides all that, the main reason why you go is to learn from all these amazing people and to get to meet your, your heroes in the film industry. So, you know, I got to spend some time with Claudia Miranda and, and you know, talk with him a little bit. And he's one of my favorite all-time DPs. So hopefully this was a good overview of NAB 2017. If you have any questions... Feel free to reach out in the comments and uh, I can't thank all the people for meeting me out there and you know spending some time with me. Um, Curtis Judd and his brother Kerry, absolutely love those guys. You guys know that I do a lot of work with them. So uh, they were a blast hanging out with them while I was there too. So I appreciate everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for next week for more gear reviews, tips and tricks, and film theory. Thanks guys. Bye. Thank you.